to a brand new video so yes two videos in a one week what can go better than that but before we go into today's video remember to like comment share subscribe turn on your post notification bell once you're new put it to all so i to drop a video to be notified remember to go over to my instagram that will be down in the description below official underscore stain that is my personal instagram stain underscore entertainment anything stain entertainment anything youtube always over there so you can find it me by now you should have noticed that once when the simmer file with on the phone screen you know what's there you know if you just go like the video and if you're not subscribed just go and subscribe we are supposed to know the jewel by now but without further ado we're going to just jump right into today's video so first thing we're going to talk about is basically the restriction on ride share apps in Jamaica so everybody should know by now where uh, teacher went missing after she allegedly took a in drive ride to work after being late that's what the news or whatever was said or them says you get what I said so basically after she took the ride the ride share whatever she went missing and then about a few days ago or some days ago uh, they said they found skeletal remains that is believed to be of hers. Now, after that, transport minister came out and said that effective immediately, all internet providers in Jamaica should impose a ban or a restriction on accessing ride share. Basically, they're not banning the ride share apps in Jamaica. And I notice what I'm saying restrict the internet providers, which is flow and um, digital they should restrict accessing those ride share apps while using their internet service so basically that was effective immediately you don't want enough jamaicans out here the ma them have them little vehicle them have them regular 95 however also that them 95 them run them little taxi service with uber and in drive me personally I do not take in drive because I've heard a lot of stories about in drive but in this time and age or dear whatever it can never be too safe because you can take in drive something material you can take Uber something material you can take regular transportation go to road and find them one taxi something still have material like in at this time you have to just pray and walk with God get what I say however I saw something previously like probably today earlier today I am seeing where they said that um, the ban might be lifted soon or so I don't remember exactly what it said now people have said the I don't want to get too deep into this matter now because I'm just a regular civilian so things from the media news and all of that they basically they are saying that why don't they make these sex offenders public and all of that I don't know but me personally my point of view is banning the right share apps in Jamaica you have all of other um, taxi service in Jamaica you have Gatch Pro you have Antime you have um, Traveller I think Traveller have their own app as well so it's not just Uber and not just in drive i think people mostly use those because of the convenience where you can just go on your phone you request a drive and you sit down and wait or whatever instead of your car 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 you get what i but i don't think banning banning the service would do any justice or do any good per se that is my point of view as we said we don't want to deep tonight so let's move on to the next topic all right so next up we have um TVJ and Valiant. Oh my god, like this was so hilarious. June this a babe like January all over again. I don't know if it's a case where it a mark the end of the first six months in another year, but June a babe June a babe like January all over again. You get what I say? So now uh I think it was on Sunday. I think it was on Sunday. Uh, 
it was reported that Minister Christopher Tufton was hit off his bicycle uh, and then people are speculating and say, oh, a valiant looking off, blah, blah, blah. Then we saw a photo of Christopher Tufton and Valiant circulating where Christopher Tufton in hospital and then take a picture together with Christopher Tufton in the hospital and say Valiant bring him to the hospital, whatever, whatever. So now it was at that time it was just only speculation that a Valiant came out for the bicycle which I did not get any concrete information. Get what I say? Because in my head, I say it can be a case where him jump off for the bicycle, somebody else came out, valiant a pass and see him, and take him up. And somebody else now a pass and say valiant to help him and say, oh, a valiant. So they are valiant because Christopher took them off for the bicycle. However, whenever one see him do it, whenever one see him do it, I'm the same. It can be a different case. You get what I'm saying? Right. So I think Valiant it took it to his life afterwards and confirmed that he did go home after some show in a St. Thomas. I don't yeah. remember exactly yeah. what name. However, he accidentally bumped my fan bicycle. Yeah. Now, after all of that, I circulated the whole of Sunday. I don't remember if it was Monday or whatever. Now, TVJ posted on their social media that a uh, warrant is out for valiant arrest for outstanding traffic tickets. So now valiant responded and lied and said, I lied on my tail because of dinner in bed I watched the Game of Thrones. Now, I don't know if it's a case that TVJ that stay out at the police station or wherever, but TVJ posted a next video with Valiant leaving the traffic court or something like that. So now what me want to know is if it's a case that TVJ really I keep tabs from Valiant like all them know say in Gandhi. Like me not understand like whosoever I work at TV them do overtime. I don't tell no like them at work overtime. Like I never think it did enough when in the post and say Warrant or dream arrest, and I did have to show up at the police station or the traffic court to say, Oh, yes, we have proof. Say, I like Valiant. I tell like, Why? In my personal opinion, I think that'd be very petty of TBG. That was very, very petty. But who knows? People into the more news and the mother find news in what they get. Oh, I say. Now, in the height of all of that, on the same show, Road to Greatness, yes, that was kept in. St. Thomas, June 1st, right? So, a video was circulating as well with some brawl that went on with Valiant and King. I don't know exactly what happened, but only see one circulate on the media or the little clip that was posted on social media. Some can't say, oh, this happened, that happened, whatever, whatever. You get what I'm saying? However, a lot of persons have been coming forward and saying, oh, Valiant and Skeng in an altercation, yada yada yada. Don't know what happened. So now it's alleged that Skeng and Valiant in a some beef. Skeng drop a this track. It is alleged that Skeng drop a this track for Valiant and Valiant been up on him live since recently. And where my preview his this track for Skeng. I don't think it has been released as yet, but can release few more all along. I don't remember where it name, but I was listening to it earlier. It not come down by the tabs. It can go on. So I'm just away right now for ear Valiant this job because actually we never get to listen to it on for him live. Cause I'm I'm this type of person when I really jive live, jive live. This is somebody live and like all the person live or whatever. Got in the school and go my business. So me when me I personally want to say right now. I don't want to clash a come up right now. It is not the time or season for not clash right now. So I come up one bag of summer song where people can rave to, yelling can whine to, whatever, whatever. Yep, me say I'm not time for not clash right now. I'm time for everybody to unite and live as one. But personally, I don't want to clash right now. I'm not time for clash right now. Make the clash stay until 
until like after summer when it can go on to December on and most of the can go hash out on the beef or whatever is left of something. You know what I'm saying? Me don't want to clash right now. So I'm just like, oh, so the two artists then can look into themselves, squash this and just, or put it off and wait until one of them. Put on some jalapeno, put on some summer sign and them something. That is the time right now. Time to watch the people and clash, man. Mighty God. Time to act, man. Right? So just do the do. Squash this. I leave it alone. Put on some jalapeno, summer sign, whatever. Right? So. Lastly, on the topic for today, uh, so I think at 12 a.m. this morning, today, uh, June 7, right? So 12 a.m., Baker releases mixtape Mob Ties. I think it has a total of uh, 13 tracks, with number 13 being Andele, a bonus track. Um, I did actually listen, listen to all of the songs already. However, it it has given me more of a relaxed vibe. Me know like the me know so the woman them or the girls them rather have this make of the gallant shift basically. You get what I'm saying? So this seeing that the songs actually give me a more relaxed vibe than an upbeat dance out. Me know the girl I really love them song here. Um, when I say upset, the mixtape you can do it no man. But if you can listen to it more so. We can feel it more. You can't, in my personal opinion, in my personal point of view, rather, if you have a real uh, song or if you have a real uh, album, EP, mixtape, whatever it is, I feel like you have to listen to the, sing, the, listen to the songs um, one time and just say, okay, from your personal opinion or whatever, your own perspective. I don't think so. I feel like say, you have to listen to it over and over and over for it really really grasp it you know I mean? said then you can say oh this EP is not it this mixtape is not it it is giving you get know what I mean? said so but don't want to say oh it is a bad mixtape because it certainly is not giving a bad vibe as we say it is more relaxed and soothing even though everybody knows the baker of this deep 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 twice however you know uh, come to a calm I don't want to come to an <laughs> I don't want to come to a conclusion as yet because I only listen to all the songs they want. Apart from mob style, everybody been a listen to over and over yeah. But more listen to the song the more, then we can come to my own conclusion of how the mixtape is. Right. Anyway, so that's all I have today. Thanks for watching. Remember to go over to my Instagram that will be down in the description below. Official underscore saying that is my personal Instagram. Stain underscore entertainment. Anything YouTube related, anything stain entertainment related, you can always find it over there. So remember to subscribe, subscribe, go and subscribe before you finish watching the video. Go and subscribe right now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys another time.